हरि ओम नमस्ते गुड एंड थर्ड ग्रीटिंग्स दिस इज डॉक्टर राजेश मिश्रा फ्रॉम ब्रेमन आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन सिक्स इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ योगा we are thankful to the tagore center embassy of india berlin giving this opportunity to present yoga therapy for depression on the occasion of 6th international day of yoga you might know many reason and symptoms of depression what is depression i would like to explain in yoga terminology that yoga that depression is the psyche constipation which block the flow of energy and here the role of hatha yoga begin aim of hatha yoga to balance the flow of prana energy hatha means ha and tha the balance of pingala and ida nadi the balance of two hemisphere le- a left hemisphere right hemisphere so today i would like to show some asana some pranayama meditation so let us start without discussing without talking too much so today our first practice will be surya namaskar but before that we will do the shanti part and after that we will start our practice so let's sit comfortably hands on the knee back to straight head straight Please close your eyes. Hands on the knee, back straight, head straight. Please close your eyes and lips. Become aware of your body. Awareness of the different sound. slowly bring your awareness where you are seated on the floor your hands on the knee back straight head straight with closed eyes become aware of your body awareness of your normal breath Slowly bring your awareness to the eyebrow center. Try to visualize the beautiful flame in the eyebrow center. focusing on the flame we'll chant three ohms together take deep breath in Put on your clothes. 
the styles jaincha jo open your eyes hands on so first we begin with a surya namaskar for the depression dynamic movement is recommended so many research has shown when there is a dynamic movement then endorphins release in our brain which is for the feel good factor but asana is more than feel good factor okay so please get ready for surya namaskar please stand up Stand. Put both feet together, toes together, arms by the side of the body. <clears throat> Relax your body. Awareness of your body. Mentally. prepare for surya namaskar and now first round we will do to understand the practice second round we will do with breathing so both feet together toes together Bring your hands between the chest in Namaskar Asana, Pranam Asana. This is position one, position two. Stretch your arms, and then arms. That is the backward bending. Asthan Asana. Then bend. forward from the waist and keep arms close to ear is called the position 3 pad hastasana in this position keep your knees straight if someone has a back problem so they can bend your knee and just relax this could be also possible then four right leg back right leg back ashushan chalanasana knee on the floor look up then five parvatasana both feet together toes together then six ashtanga namaskar bend your both knee knee on the floor chest between the hand and chin on the floor ashtang means the eight part of the body is on the floor then seven bhujangasana look up you are bending backward then eight parvatasana knee straight and again you are coming like the position five like the parvatasana don't force yourself too much just relax the nine left leg between the hand ashushan chalan then the nine sorry this is the 10 pad hastasan position 3 and just relax in this position then the 11 hastutanasan arms close to ear and you are bending backward so just you see and then the 12 pranamasana this is the half round now once more so This is position one, same. Then two, has to turn as the arms close to ear, backward bending. So you bending your whole body back. You are bending your whole body, just to see. Then the three pad has to turn. 
just relax in this position then the four and this time left leg will be back knee on the floor and then this is the four and then then five Then the six bend your knee, knee on the floor, chest between the hand. And then seven bhujangasana. You are bending backward. So your hands are exactly under the shoulder and your back is performing like a curve. Then eight knee straight. Then ten, your right leg between the hands. Look up. Then ten. Padastasana. Then the eleven Hastutanasana. Arms close to ear and go back. And this is the backward bending. And then the 12th Pranamasana. This is the one round. This is the one round. For second round, again, we will do with breathing. So arm by the side of the body. Just relax, be aware how you are feeling. So come in position one Pranamasana. Breathing in and out. And then two Hastutanasana while in, breathing out three, then in four, right leg back, out five. Hold breath six in seven while breathing out eight in nine left out ten in eleven. Out 12. So this is a half round, another half round. Breathing in and out while inhaling two. Exhale three. Inhale four left. Exhale five. Full breath six. Inhale seven, exhale eight, inhale nine, right leg between the hands, exhale ten, inhale eleven, exhale twelve. This is one round, uh, so this is the one round completed with breathing. Now will be the third round. So you can do dynamically with your own speed while I will explain. So position one, then in and out, two, continue with your speed please. So Surya Namaskar is the complete practice, this is the dynamic practice which you can do with breath awareness. Swari Namaskar is the combination of asana, pranayama, mantra and meditation. So in this practice you can focus on the different chakra but most important is breathing, awareness and the movement. In, hold, 
out and after three rounds arms by the side of the body to relax your body and now lie down on the back lie down on the back After Surya Namaskara, your breathing is a little fast. Just relax. Feel the energy in the body. Feel your heartbeat. Just relax. Normalize your breath. So with awareness, relax your body. And now, next practice is Path Sanchalanasana. So, palm on the floor, palm on the floor, bend your both knees, please. Gently, if someone has a lower back problem, don't do it together. So, first, do it separately, like the cycling, with separate. Mm -hmm. So, you can do with breathing. So inhaling and exhaling, you can keep your breath normal or you can do with breathing. And then same reverse. Be aware of the movement of your knee. So this is also dynamic practice you can do. So in time this is strengthen your abdomen, your lower back. This is good for adrenal gland, which strengthen the whole abdominal area. You can do with breathing and awareness, and then relax. Arms by the side of the body. Awareness of your normal breathing. You are totally relaxed. Then next practice is Triyak Bhujangasana. So lie down on the stomach. For the depression, the backward bending is the best practice. So Triyak Bhujangasana is also one of the nice practice. So hands under the shoulder, both feet together, toes together. Both fit together, toes together. By now, Samantha. Yeah. And you can keep foot like this, or you can foot keep flat. This both is the possible. So now, while breathing in, inhale, look up, come in cobra. And while exhale, try to see your left heel from the right side. So while inhalation center and exhalation down. So this is the one half round. Then again come up, breathing in, and while exhaling the other side, look your right heel above your left shoulder. So relax your neck, don't twist your neck too much. And then while inhaling center, while exhaling down. So please do three to five rounds as per your speed and limitation. Inhalation, exhalation. Mm -hmm. 
be aware awareness of the breath awareness the movement of your spinal cord movement of your spinal cord movement of your breath inhalation exhalation in and out and then after 3 to 5 rounds you relax for it on the back side of palm just become aware of your normal breath Tiriya Bhujangasana is one of the practice of Sankh Prakshalana which clean your intense time. Now next practice is Dhanurasana. So this is also one of the nice practice for the depression. So bend your both knee please. So if someone has a knee problem better avoid or don't do so with right hand hold your right foot left hand left foot uh keep knee little apart chin on the floor this is the starting position and now while inhaling raise your chin chest your lift your knee and try to do as much as possible just try your best and while exhaling down this is one round now once more while inhaling inhalation lift up little up little up try your best and explore feel the whole spine the chest opening and then while exhalation down if you feel tired you can relax but try to do once more so while inhaling up and then if you like to want to make fun so just you roll it's very good so you can do but remember your limitation Lift up and then relax. Stretch your legs. Lie down on the back. Normal breath. Awareness of the normal breathing. Relax your body. Feel the flow of your breath. And now, last practice is Shabha Udra Darsana, Universal Spinal Twist. You stretch your arms, but at the shoulder level both feet together toes together generally we should do from the right side so bend your right knee put your right foot on the left knee hold your right knee with left hand just breathing in here while breathing out twist and bring your right knee to the left side and keep right palm on the floor right elbow on the floor and just feel the good twist in the spinal cord so now while inhaling center and stretch your leg arms by the side of the body then bend your left knee left foot on the right knee and then hold your left knee with right hand breathing in and while exhaling just twist in 
ventilation full twist and then relax and then while inhaling center and then arms this stretch your leg this is the one round so please do one more round bend your right knee hold then while exhaling twist Inhaling center, then other side again, and while exhaling, twist. And now, inhaling center and exhale, relax arm by the side of the body, palm upward facing. Close your eyes, close your lips. Be aware of your body. Be aware how you are feeling after asana. It's time for Shavasana. Keep your body relaxed. Mentally relax your legs your arms, your long spinal cord, your head, your face, your chest, your abdomen, your pelvis area, your both legs, relax your whole body, your whole body totally relaxed, now awareness of your normal breath, feel your normal breathing. Awareness of your normal breathing. Breathing in one and out one. So mentally count down 15 to 0. Breathing in 15, out 15. In 14, out 14. So on till zero 15 to zero mentally count down become aware incoming and outgoing breath mentally you are counting 15 to zero Counting 15 to 0. Be aware of your practice. And now you have finished counting 15 to 0. If not, take your time. And now, stop counting. Become aware of your body. Gently move your toes, fingers, head. Inhale and stretch your body.
so now the practice is yogic breathing and yogic breathing is very good for the depression so please bring your right hand on the chest left hand on the stomach and this practice you can do even before the sleep if you had enough early your uh, dinner or before the lunch you can do also so now while breathing in expand your abdomen inhale through abdomen abdomen is may feel air in the abdomen and while exhaling contract your abdomen so this is one time so you can do 10 to 15 time so inhale expand your abdomen and exhale contract your abdomen inhale ab expand your abdomen and exhale contract your abdomen slowly relax your face so inhale expand your abdomen and exhale contract your abdomen inhale expand your abdomen and exhale contract your abdomen so please keep continue for few times with your own speed this abdominal breathing is excellent because it give the good massage to your whole abdominal area and same time your breathing is long and deep so if you feel tired lethargic of too much emotions inside so you can do if there is too much thoughts in your mind just practice this one and i will suggest in depression before food please do so with this practice your stress will be released from the abdominal area so the digestion will take properly and relax on the other side of the body normal breathing and please sit up the pranayama practice contributes enormously to a person's sense of well-being by giving them the skills and confidence to control physiological responses to stress therefore it is important that the individual as well as mastering the practice understand which practice is to be used to address each mental state gently move your toes move your fingers move your head inhale and stretch your body this right arm and sit up and now on knee back straight head straight for any pranayama practice the most important keep your back straight if you can sit in meditative asana is excellent if you can't no worries just to sit with keeping back straight and with relaxed manner as our topic is depression so our pranayama first pranayama is surya bhed pranayama so perform the nasika agra mudra bend your right elbow thumb on right nostril second and third finger to the forehead ring finger to the left nostril and climb uh, ring finger uh, small finger is free this is called nasika agra mudra now 
keep your left nostril closed yes and only do the right nostril breathing in and out so you keep your straight head straight just so you want to show your show you how the position of fingers should be so inhale and exhale only through the right nostril right nostril inhalation and exhalation pingla nadi surya nadi so only inhale and exhale through the right nostril inhale mentally count 1 to 7 and exhale mentally count 1 to 7 so you breathing your pura and reach up should be equal inhalation and exhalation should be smooth rhythmic but long and deep be aware of the surya ved pranayama your breathing long and deep only through the right nostril breathing in is puraka out is rechaka puraka and rechaka through the right nostril surya ved pranayam is one of the best practice to activate prana energy in case someone has a depression or feeling low less energy or feeling tired now hands on the knee keep your eyes closed relax your face be aware of the body awareness of the body just observe and now it's time for mool bandha mool bandha lift energy and begin the process of bringing repressed experiences into conscious awareness So focus your awareness to your pelvis area and while inhaling contract your urinal tract and exhaling release while inhaling contract or you can contract your lower abdominal area and exhaling contract exhaling relax do five times while inhaling contract your urinal tract or your lower abdomen 
and full contract and while exhaling to release. Be aware awareness of your practice contraction and expansion full contraction be aware breathing relax for a moment you can do Kapal Bhati Pranayama and Kapal Bhati Pranayama is also very good for the depression. Just breathing in and while exhaling contract your abdomen, forceful exhalation. So exhale and contract, exhale and contract. in one stroke forceful breathing out then again in then out so in beginning you can do the slow but with time you can do the fast so with breathing out you can contract your abdomen so remember in Kapal Bhati Pranayama, your breathing out will be only the forceful. Breathing in should be the gentle. And then relax. So you can do 20, 30 times. And then relax. And again you can do 20, 30 times. Relax your breath if you do the first time you will feel tiredness but same time you are experiencing energy and kapal bhati is one of the sat karma's practice also cleaning practice if we are doing yoga therapy so yoga therapy cannot be complete or cannot start without the shat karma. And in depression, jalaniti is one of the best practice. Jalaniti, first you do, and then after that, you start practicing asana, pranayama, mudra, bandha. Normal breathing. Pranayama, then Mudra and Bandha, once more we will do the Mool Bandha, so while breathing 
in, contract your urinal tract or lower abdomen. And while exhaling, to release. While inhalation, contract and while exhalation, release. While inhalation, contract. While exhalation, release. And once more. Hold, 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 contraction, hold breath. And then while exhaling, release. In beginning, better should avoid the holding the breath. So, not breathing. Unless you are the advanced practitioner, don't hold the breathing and molbandha in case of depression. But yes, if someone is depressed and if he or she is the advanced practitioner, they can do. Normal breath and after bandhas, yoga nidra is very important practice. In yoga nidra, there is a sh uh, there is shankalpa. Yoga nidra is the practice of pratyahara. Withdrawal of senses. So pratyahara practice bring the deep relaxation. So you can follow our YouTube channel where you will get the Yoga Nitra link. And after Yoga Nitra you can add Antarmona. Antarmona meditation is very good practice to wipe up, to clean the mind. Antarmona means inner silence will correct your thought process and that's why Antarmona is also very good practice for the depression. And you can find this link on our YouTube channel. When we say the therapy means you should practice at a particular interval. In 24 hour, if you will think one hour, just asana pranayama practice, which will not help much. It will be helpful, but not help much. But intense effect, you should incorporate yoga in your daily life. So for therapy, the lifestyle is also very important. Your food as in depression, the tamasic state is dominant. So your lifestyle should be to change the tamasic into sattvic state. So your food should be the light, gentle. should use the nice color, nice perfume. You should read good books, Swadhyay. This is also the part of lifestyle. Swadhyay is also very important to understand the thing subject. Bhakti yoga is also important part 
इन भक्ति योगा मीन्स डेडिकेशन कमिटमेंट एंड कर्म योगा सो डू योर एक्शन विदाउट एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन इफ यू विल इनकॉर्पोरेट ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स ऑल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ योगा सो डेफिनेटली दिस योगा will improve the quality of your life so that's why i'm pretty much sure that this therapy will be very helpful for the depression so again we thanks to all of you who is joining us who is practicing with us if If you have any questions, please write. So again, we will chant three ohms together. Take deep breath in. Just listen the mantra. Asato ma satgama ya, tamaso ma jyotir gama ya, mrityor ma mritam gama ya, sarvesham swastir bhavatu. मंगल लोकासमस्ता शांति 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 हरि हरि ओम तत्सल रविपान कुटानी क्लोज आईज जेंटली ओपन योर आईज थैंक यू वेरी मच टू लव यू सो अगेन congratulations on the 6th internal study of yoga thank you thank you to the dr mishra academy team and thanks to the tagore center embassy of india berlin team thank you namaste hari om and then mary you can come also yes hari so we three helps together for this so you can see <laughs> thank you